What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial on JS site. Today we are going to create our first set of trial. So blue and orange trial. So let's begin with creating a variable for the trial, specifically the blue trial. So since this is an image file and we are going to um, show an image and ask them the response to the image, we are going to choose the um, image response here um, specifically for the keyboard. And we see um, the par parameters here, we have stimulus that we are going to take. We're not interested in the height width aspect ratio or the stimulus duration but more of the choices as well as the trial duration. So we have three things, stimulus, choices, and trial duration. So let's get stimulus, choices, and trial duration. Okay. So let's set trial duration for um, at null for now because we want to make sure that our experiment is working or our trial is working. So we want um, them to press the keyboard um, as, and then uh, proceed to the next section. We just want to make sure the trial is working. So the choices, um, let's hang on. So it is an image file. So we're going to get from the image file, blue.png. Remember to add a type of um, the plugin that we're going to use. It is the image keyboard response. And the choices is an array. Over here is an array. So we need to know um, what kind of keys we want. So remember the left key is um, for the blue and the right keys for the orange. Um, but to know what they press or to let them press um, certain keys, we have to use choices. We want to constrain the key press to either left or right, but not other keys. So we can um, get this the key code from um, um, JavaScript, but because we can't write um, left key or right key, um, there is a certain code for each um, keyboard or each key in the keyboard. So we can look at um, the HTML keyboard response. Um, they, they provided us with a link um, with a numeric key code over here. Um, so each JavaScript um, character codes can be converted to a key code. So for example, if the key is backspace, the JavaScript code is eight. So when we are looking for the left and the right. So for the left, it's 37 and for the right, it is 39. So we're gonna put this in 37 and 39 and put it inside the um, object here for the blue trial. So we also want to create one for the orange trial. And instead of the blue picture, we're gonna put the orange circle. So now we have our first set of trial, but remember we haven't added the, the JavaScript code to our script yet. So we have to add it in image keyboard response. So I'm gonna to toggle the instructions block out for now because we're not gonna work with it. Well, uh, we are gonna work with only the trials just to make sure that um, we are only focusing on one screen at a time and testing only one at a time. <clears throat> so once we are ready, we can test it. And we see the um, blue circle here and you can press any key, but it's not gonna work. It can only respond with either the left or the right. Let's say if I press the right button, it's gonna go on to the next stimulus or the next timeline, which is the orange trial. I'm gonna press the right button also, and then we end the keep, um, the trial. So here, um, the data shows key press, which is what key the participant has pressed, and 
for each of the twelve. And it shows the stimulus. So you might think that, um, let's say if I have 100 trials, am I gonna populate all this timeline to 100 times, um, 20 times, 90 times, and set them um, in different order? Well, um, that's a good question. So uh, I'm gonna say, uh, no, we're not gonna do that. So there's a way to um, set the trials in a way that you want. So we have to put all the all the stimuli into a an array where the stimuli can be located and we can obtain the stimuli from that array. <clears throat> so let's create our <clears throat> stimuli trial stimuli. It is an array. <clears throat> And in each array is the trial condition. Um, it is an object that contains the parameters for the trial condition. So for the first one, we have the stimulus. We have the blue stimulus, the blue picture. And we also want to include the data for this trial. So we can pass it into this, this object and later on. So let's add in um, the screen ID we didn't add in earlier. The screen ID for this, it's still trial. It is, it is a trial. And we need, we need to add what the correct response is. Do we have a correct response? No, we don't. So we have to add in the correct response for this. And remember the blue key, the correct response is 39. No, 37. Um, for the left key. So we're going to put in 37. And then we're going to create the same for the orange trial. If you're lazy, you can um, type copy and paste, but for practice, I recommend you to type in um, just to get some more practice and familiar with how to code in JavaScript and to code in JS site. So at least you get familiar with coding. So here now we have created our trial stimuli, but we need to know um, how to get those um, stimuli in, um, in order. So we have to create a um, variable called procedure. Um, equals, I think it is a an object. Might be wrong. Could be an, an array, but let's try this one first. So um, this is like a like an object. You put it inside um, the timeline. So we have the timeline object. We have to create a timeline for this object, which will be an array. So normally we'll put blue trial and orange trial. But right now we need to create a trial that takes in um, the parameters from our trial stimuli. So let's create a trial first. Um, trial object, which is not created yet, but we'll create them. We'll create it um, later on. And then the timeline variables. So this is where um, you are going to get your variables or the parameters for or each condition or each trial from. So this is going to be the trial stimuli, which we get from here. And that's it. And instead of putting um, blue trial and orange trial into the timeline, we're gonna push procedure 
instead. So it's going to get from procedure and get a trial and get the items for each trial from trial stimuli. So right now we're going to create the variable trial, the trial variable. It is the same as before or when we are creating each um, trial, we just have to copy this here for the moment. So stimulus, so right now it's, it's we are not, JavaScript doesn't know, um, or JSI doesn't know where to get the stimulus from. So we have to tell them, tell JavaScript or JSI to get a stimulus from um, JSI dot timeline variable. So it's going to get from timeline variables. And what you put inside here is the key. So we're going to get the stimulus from the timeline variable called trial.stimulus. Okay, and let's put the data. So in the same way, the data will have to be um, obtained from jxsite.timeline variable data. So we're going to get all the screen ID and the correct response from the timeline variable and put it into this trial. And so now, right now, we can delete um, the individual trial and let's pull it create, let's call it create trials. So right now we have our first set of trial and let's test it. So you see now we have um, the blue trial and the orange trial. So once I completed that, I can see my key press and my correct response. Key press and correct response. So the other thing we might want to add is to know whether we did the trial correctly or not. So we can do this by um, creating another key here, which is on finish. So what happens when the trial finishes? Yeah, so we're going to create a function. So when the trial finishes, we're going to run this function. So what this function does is um, we have to populate correct or incorrect in each data. This is what uh, we're going to do here. So to know whether we did a trial correctly or not. So we have to get the correct response and match it to our response. So we have to match correct response to response. So our response is key press. Match key press with correct response. So we have um, two possibilities. So if, if key press is the same as correct response, this is a correct trial. So this is, it's gonna, it's gonna tell you correct. And if it's wrong, if it's not the same, then it is incorrect. So how do we do this? So we can use um, a function called if. So if key press, oh, it's data here. We have to put in data. So this data is the data here. So if data dot key press is equal, you can use double, or if you want to be strict, um, so the type and the value, everything is the same. It's triple equals. 
So let's just use double. If data dot key press equals to data dot correct response. You have to close it. Then data dot accuracy equals to one. So this tells us if if data dot key press, let's say if my key press is left button and the correct response is left button, then my accuracy is one. If not, because we only have two choices here, so it's easier. We just need to put else. Else data dot accuracy equals to zero. And we can delete um, the function. So let's put it here. Um, key press equals to correct response. And here, key press not equals. Not equals is not is um, denoted by the exclamation mark and equals. So not equals to correct response. Then we can close it and let's test it out. So I'm gonna um, perform wrongly on the first shell, so I'm gonna press the right key. And the second, I'm gonna press the right key again. So you see the first one, I'm, I press 39, but the correct response is 37, so my accuracy is zero. For the second one, the correct response is 39, and I press 39, so I did it correctly. So my accuracy is one. So that's it for today's tutorial. We have learned how to create our first trial, our first set of trial. So tune in more to learn about how to create a feedback or how to create more trials or how to create um, um, populate it with different number of trials or set the time variable to a different, to set the timing for each trial to a different number.